massive spike in carjackings. We begin with CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey. Megan, the big question, why? Right, Brad and Marie, carjacking reports have more than doubled compared to the same period last year, and that may be because the pandemic has changed opportunities for crime. It's just going to keep getting worse. I really do that it's going to keep getting worse as long as they feel that there's no accountability. It's a statistical surge in carjackings, up 127 percent in 2020 compared to the same period last year, punctuated by the tragic death of a former Chicago firefighter. Shot and killed in an attempted carjacking yesterday in Morgan Park. So uh, that's what I state rep I'm Jamie Andrade I'm is talking about. We're not we're not surprised. He's been working for years to try to strengthen penalties for carjackers and was able to pass a bill in 2018 that made it easier for investigators to show that a car was stolen. But he argues that prosecutors and judges often go easy on the offenders. I'm just pleading and asking them to, to prosecute the possession of stolen motor vehicle to the full extent of the law. Chicago police have complained about prosecution too, and they're acknowledging the uptick. When we checked in earlier this year, CPD told us they were going to reconvene the carjacking task force, and in some cases push for federal charges when they can. CPD didn't get back to us today when we asked if that's actually been happening. And it still doesn't answer the question, why the surge? It's almost like a, a robbery on steroids. Professor Dave Olson of Loyola's Department of Criminal Justice and Criminology tells me, in part, carjacking is often a money-making option during an uncertain time. But pandemic behavior changes may also be playing a role. It's more difficult to commit other crimes like burglaries because people are home more now during the pandemic. If it's uh, more difficult to commit thefts because there aren't as many people out, now, another way to illustrate the problem, Morgan Park, the neighborhood where Lieutenant Williams was killed, had four carjackings as of this point last year. So far this year, they've had nine. Marie? Yeah, that is a jump. Megan, I'm curious what else this carjacking task force is doing to address this problem. So we checked in earlier this year and they told us that they were going to be adding uh, officers, covert officers, state and federal prosecutors to this task force. Today we checked in to get an update and we did not get a response. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey live for us tonight. Thank you, Megan.